We are back in the Isle, starting a life of a Dilophosaurus. The orphan Dilo has entered the journey in East Plains, one of the most active and dangerous places in the whole Gateway Island. The first mission is to acquire the perfect diet. That gives a lot of benefits, but the most important is the 100% boost to the growth. And if you can't hunt on your own, you must scavenge. The Dilo has gotten the first part of the perfect diet. Next is to get lipids. One must use their camouflage to their advantages and their keen scent to find the missing part of the perfect diet. There's lipids ahead. But is it too dangerous? It definitely is. Better get our own. Finally, the perfect diet. Now the growth can begin. There is familiar sounds all around, but also sounds of enemies. Like the pesqueteros that come to scavenge. Something is behind. Omnis! The tiny Dalo has no other choice than try to avoid the attacks and take coverage of the forest ahead. Finally the Dilo stops. It barely made it. And it has a long way to go. Dilo wants to keep the perfect diet and protein is the lowest on the nutrients. So it must hunt deer. But there is an angry hog hot on its heels. And the pig is out for blood. Dilo manages to get the deer, but now it has to get the food. And the big doesn't want that to happen. Dilo uses its agility to avoid the big and get the food. Next in the survival list is water. But the waters can be infested with Danos.
Dilo takes its chances and sneaks a drink at the waterfall. Lucky Dilo, or maybe it knows that is a safe spot. All the animals in the aisle follow the scent trails that lead them to the migration zones. Areas filled with plants that attract the herbivores to the zone, thus providing hunting opportunity for the hungry carnivores. There's no sounds of herbivores though, only an angry hog. But our Dilo is getting bigger and it wants revenge. A victory and a meal. Our Dilo has finally reached soup adulthood. It's a beautiful day, but there's no sounds nowhere. It can't even smell my grazing zone. Dilophosaurus has never seen such bullcrap before. Tenontosaurus lets out a friendly call. Our dialogue isn't confident enough to hunt it solo, so it returns the call and shows that it is not interested in fighting the orderly behaving herbivore. Maybe the Tenno is lonely like our Dilo. Finally, another Dilo! Maybe it's friendly. The oddly behaving Tenonto has followed our Dilo quite some time, helping it to get food. This has baffled our Dilo. It doesn't know what to do with it. Dilo has found a friend, and they leave the Tenonto behind in search for fresh water and hopefully something to hunt that acts more naturally. The Dilos here at Tenonto broadcast. They wonder if it's the same peculiar Tenonto, so they go to investigate. The strange Tenonto has now Carnotaurus with it. What an odd mix. There is no way of trusting them. Arno seems to be very interested in the Dilos. It's better to run. The Dilos separate. Tenanto and Carno are chasing our Dilos packmate, and there's nothing it can do to help it. The packmate has gotten away, luckily. They are happy to see each other. Until our Dilo sees the Kano and realizes it's still after them. Our Dilo checks that its backmate is safe and then tries to hide itself. It is between rock and a hard place. Suddenly it realizes it's alone. What happened? The backmate has done grave mistake on a slippery cliffside and falls to its death. Our Dalo isn't sure what to do, so it decides to get distance between it and the odd mix pack that try to hunt them, in hopes that it never sees them again. 
Our dialogue has been following the course of other dialogues in hope of packing with them. When suddenly, a Herrera bounces it from the top of a tree, completely surprising the dialogue. Those pesky tree assassins are always looking the perfect moment to give you a heart attack. But our dialogue pushes on because it wants friends. And finally, it finds a pack. Feast gets interrupted by Herrera running to a tree. Our dialogue already knows what they can do, so it keeps its distance. But its backmates haven't learned yet how devastating the Herrera pounds can be. That's a hard lesson. Slight movement and a familiar shape spark our dialogue's memories. There is a carnal in the area. Better warn the backmates of its presence. Even though the backmates are aware of the carnal, they want water more than anything else. Our dialogue is still on high alert. But still, the Carnos manage to ambush them, and our Dilo has to start running for its life. There were three Carnos instead of one, and the Dilo is in trouble, because they are way faster than it is. And they can ram to catch up to the Dilo. But the Dilo is more agile and has knowledge of the area where it has been growing its whole life. Now or never, it has to use that knowledge and the terrain to its advantage to get away with its life. The Carnals seem to be distracted by friendly calls of another Carnal. Now is our Dilo's chance. After getting enough distance, our Dilo can finally breathe. It got out just barely. While our Dilo rests and licks its wounds, it has no idea that its backmates are picked one by one, and soon it's alone yet again. Our Dilo hears familiar voice. It is one of its backmates that managed to avoid getting hunted by the Carnos. They seek each other to back up again. But they get brutally interrupted by the same carnals that decimated most of the pack in the daytime. They are still hunting, and they are solely hunting Dilos. To them, their meat is delicacy, and hunting them is a thrill. 
day or night. Time for a breather. While New York backmate wants blood, Beluga, the older backmate, perishes. Our dialogue isn't confident about confronting the speedy hunters. It fears there is more than one in the area. And the dialogues have regrouped and getting food when Nyanka lets out a warning call. One of the Karnos is still after them, but it's not an adult, so they fight back. The Karno barely hurts them, and it has been bit a few times, so it backs off. And they can finally eat in peace. Suddenly, the Dilos see a Bacchicephalosaurus, and their hunting instincts kick in. But little did they know, this Baki has been adopted by the Karnos, and they protect it fiercely. Who knows, maybe they see it as a smaller plant-eating cousin, or maybe it rammed their heads in, and that got them confused how to act properly with a herbivore. Anyways, the Dilos run again from the same enemy that seems to reign the East Plains. Our dialogue thought it got away until it hears and sees a carnal coming near to his hiding place and the backmate ordering to run. So the dialogue keeps running and hoping it finally gets somewhere where there is no carnals after it. On the way to a new place, our dialogue bumps into another one. Friendly back invite gets refused, so Dilo decides to go on its merry way. But soon it realizes the other Dilo is running after it, which seems very suspicious behavior. After a long run, our dialogue turns and bites the air to warn the other one to keep its distance, asking it what it wants. But the other one just stands in confusion and leaves. Our dialogue is even more baffled about the world order. There seems like there is no friendly faces left. Our Dilo has doubled back to Northwest. It has been hearing herbivores calling out in the rainy night, in hopes of finding even one to fill its stomach. It soon smells a massive back. A feisty packy finds our Dilo in the night, and it lets out a warning call before running at the Dilo. This is the hunt Dilo has been hoping for. But the hope dies when the rest of the herd appears in its sight. There is too many of them. Our Dilo can't hunt the Baki alone, not when there is angry Tenontos helping it. Yet again, Dilo needs to get away, and it disappears in the darkness of the night. On a stormy night, our Dilo is on its way to west to seek a new hunting ground when it sees a Gallimimus with stomach full, Dilo decides to ignore it. But the galley sees it as a sign of weakness and attacks. But this Dilo is done running away, so it fights back, sinking its venomous teeth into the kicking omnivore, sending it to next life.
finally, a well-deserved meal. Our Dylos journey has been long and rough, but it has managed to survive the harsh life of the Isle. So this is the end of this journey, but not the end of this dialogue. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, that helps a lot. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It is completely free. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. And moi moi.